I'm good. I'm very good. How are you? I'm good. We, I mean, we've been trying to reach each other for a bit, but this technology, yeah. is, uh, fingers crossed, no more freezing. Yeah. Limits. No, hopefully. Yeah. So how long have you been inside now? Do you still have a weekend? Do you know, do you have a sense of time? Um, well, for me, I guess I never really have a weekend. I mean, with the, oh God, oh, these pants are supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> I like them. Go for it. Go for it. What's on them? Bananas? Yeah, it's a it's banana a, band. That's amazing. It's a positivity pants. I guess with my job, I don't really have weekends to begin with. Everything yeah. is sort of, um, everything moves freely. Weekends, weeks, it doesn't really matter. Um, but for me, what a, a big difference is that I am used to living sort of towards the deadlines of me leaving again for a job. So um, sometimes, you know, I come back, I have three days or sometimes I have a week and I try to do everything on my to-do list before I have to leave again. And now for the first time, I don't have that, that line of leaving. Um, I think now... What's that like? What does it give you to be, to be in your own schedule? I wake up and I'm starting to feel more in my body and in my mind what it is that I need and what it is that I want to be doing mm -hmm. instead of feeling this pressure from outside, from work, from social life, from what I think I should be doing. You so, get to turn inwards and sort of feel, yeah, what, what do I need or what's it, what's it like to be me? What? Yeah. Yeah. And to hear in a way to hear, your own voice yeah yeah it's quite for me i'm quite like i like to be busy and run around and um sometimes try to not hear my own voice too much because maybe my running voice around not... yeah it can be running away also exactly yeah, yeah yeah and that's that's also when this started and i started to see like okay all the jobs are going to be cancelled there's not going to be any flying You're going to sit with yourself <laughs> in your house. Yeah. Um, and you're going to have to learn to do nothing. And is there, so, is there a specific thing that, that, that came up to you the past few weeks, that, that a feeling or an emotion that's in, inside you right now? Um, Well, something that I think I've really felt for the first time is that um, you don't necessarily need to distract yourself for emotions to go away, if that makes sense. Mm. So sometimes, you know, I would feel anxious or I would feel a bit sad or a bit hopeless but I could also feel that that something that comes and goes yeah and you don't have to sort of put force try to change something or try to um, distract yourself it comes and it goes and I yeah, feel the flow of that is there's space for that now because normally it'd be like oh, I feel anxious but I have a meeting or I have you know I have a crossing I can't I like <sighs> need to exactly yeah yeah no, totally that you, there's space to actually feel things yeah um which of course is crazy because we're in such a crisis but I think it does create some sort of yeah looking inwards how are you gonna how are you gonna take this sort of skill that you're learning now? How are you gonna take that with you when when life starts again? Well probably I'm just gonna <laughs> if I really if I'm really honest with myself. Um, I know meditation is great and I've tried many times and then I give up because it's one of these things like when I feel quite good, I like meditate meditating. When yeah. I not feel so good, I'm like pfft. Uh, it's not going to help anyway. Well, that's, that's what you that need to do it. Yeah. 
exactly. But that's, your, that's your that's your little evil self, that self-destructive self. That's like exactly. you don't need this. You need to you know be miserable because that's gonna exactly. <laughs> that's gonna help you. It's so true. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I hope it's gonna give me a little bit more trust in sort of it's okay to stand still sometimes. It's okay to feel certain emotions that might seem scary. Um, and I hope I can use a bit of that stillness, that's sort of the space that's opening up in my head. I hope I can find a way to integrate it into my daily life. In a bigger picture, like I think that's on a personal level, but also uh, let's say in fashion industry in general, like we, yeah. we we could use some stillness or we could use some reflection uh, instead of the, the the constant running and the greed and the, the need for profit yeah. you know like i hope that that whatever you're going through i think a lot of people will recognize i hope a lot of people recognize and that also companies recognize and a whole system could recognize this kind of need for um being true with the self instead of yeah. you know a constant rat race of more and exactly. more, more like you have to keep on going and then you have to always be busy new 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 um i feel like i finally feel how i'm supposed to live mm. and sort of you know how your body likes to live how your mind likes to live yeah. and of course this is a privilege to be in a space where you feel nice and where you can be at home and you don't have to work money and yeah. that Sort of crazy and you don't settling. have, you know, uh, abuse at how at the house, or yeah. you know, there's so many situations that you don't want to be in right now. But for those no. that have that space, it's a gift, I think. It is yeah. totally a gift, and that's also, I think, what creates in my head some space and some happiness is the fact that I'm like, wow, it's quite special to be able to travel the way that you know we do, or to meet so many people and to have interesting conversations with people, to be able to sit on a terrace in the sun and drink a beer mm -hmm. is like... Privileged. Such a privilege. Yeah. And so it sort of makes me look back on like the past few years and be like, God, it was good. And how much I love my friends and how much I love the people that I work with. Like I truly miss working which i don't think i've said before <laughs> and if there's if there's if you could have it your way what, is there a certain thing that you would do now that you would love to have someone maybe or something that you could do right now and what would you be doing and with whom i'm really lucky in the way, in the way that um my girlfriend she was in denmark um and she was also on her own, isolated. And at some point last week, we were like, okay, this is gonna take a long time. So we might as well get quarantined together. So she came here a few days ago and it feels like such, um, oh, so <laughs> nice to have someone around. <laughs> it's really- um, Look at you, you're glowing, you're yeah. like. Yeah. <laughs> No, but that's something that you know you take I take for granted that I can always go and see her and even though it's hard because we have a long distance relationship um, we have the freedom to try and make it work and now for the first time it was like well wait a second if borders start closing if this starts closing if you can do this you can do that it's so such a frustrating feeling so the fact to have her here and the fact that she cannot leave <laughs> <laughs> that makes me very happy. <laughs> yeah, um, so I think that's going to keep me going for a while now. I'm also so already like in my head making sort of a dream scenario of my first day back at work. Mm -hmm. Like who would be there? Where would it be? Um, yeah. Like walking on set and being in a group of people and sort of all feel that relief of oh my god what the fuck did just happen and look what we came through and sort of 
how are you? Like, how are you? I don't, that. But so really, like, yeah. Yeah, but really, and really so it'd be like, whoa, I can't believe we're back. Like we're doing this. I think it's going to be such a special moment. But I guess, you know, take it day by day. Yeah, there's only the here and now for now. But I mean, like I hope that comes, it, it brings solidarity somehow. Yeah. Yeah, completely. And and uh, a gratitude yeah. for having yeah. what you have. So much. Okay, Rianne. Thank, right. thank you for sharing. Thank you. Uh, thank have you. a lovely next quarantine with your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and also with yourself turning inwards. Yeah. Um, thank you. You too. And uh, yeah, we'll see each other in real life soon, hopefully. Yeah, that would be really nice. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> so nice to meet you. Likewise. Right, Have right. a good day. Bye-bye. Bye.